Hey y'all, my name's Tyson, and this time around, let's have a look at the Solid Inspector and Cleanup extensions. In our previous skill builder, I was talking about some general guidelines that are useful when you're modeling something with the intent for 3D printing. And the Solid Inspector in particular is a well-known extension that's really key for 3D printing. I'm not gonna go into the, these extensions in super detail, but I wanted to share two examples where you can use the Solid Inspector and the Cleanup extension kind of strategically, not just to examine a model or fix a mistake, but actually to make you more efficient. So here's two examples of how that can happen just to try and give you some ideas of how you might use these extensions in your own workflow, whether you're 3D printing or not. Let's have a look. All right, we're gonna come back to this one in a moment. Down here, uh, this is something that in the 3D printing world, um, uh, it, it might be familiar to you if, if you <laughs> uh, peruse the, those communities. This is something that some people refer to as gridfinity, uh, which uh, is a term that Zach Friedman coined. It's this idea that you print out this grid and then you start printing out these boxes of different sizes that fit in here very nicely. Now, this was also an idea championed by uh, Alexander Chappelle. Uh, he built a different sort of system. So I wanna give those guys credit for this idea. But when you go out there, this, um, either it, you know somebody has their own version or there's also some parametric versions of this, I wanted to see what could be done with SketchUp. So I built this and here's how this version works. Uh, I've got the basic grid laid out and then you can see here with these pieces, actually just with these four pieces, you should be able to build any configuration of box that you want. So if we were to look at this and say, well, let's create a, a long one here. I could grab these, these, move these together. and then uh, extend this out by however many um, I wanted. So let's say something like that, and then move this, flip it. And, and if you look at these, each of these is, uh, is on their own solids. But now, okay, so we've built this. Now we need to merge it into one solid. Well, we could explode these and start merging these together, but this will be a lot easier if we just use the solid inspector. Uh, and just to do a quick due diligence, if you're not familiar, the solid inspector, we're looking at this one here, and this is built by TomTom, Tom, which is nice because the other one we're gonna look at is Cleanup. Now, if you're gonna use the Solid Inspector and Cleanup, here's Cleanup, you also need to grab from TomTom Tom his library. So make sure you have TomTom's library installed, Solid Inspector, and Cleanup. If I select all of these pieces now, let me do that again. So I'm gonna select these. I'm going to explode them, with my keyboard shortcut. Now they're still selected, so I'm immediately just going to group them again. All right, so now this is a group. If we look at the x-ray version, though, there are leftover uh, faces inside here. That is where I'm not worried about it because I'm just going to run Solid Inspector, and it's going to identify all of those and fix them. So easy. This is now solid. I could send this to my 3D printer. But if I wanted to just be a little more meticulous and clean this up, 
here's where I could run something like cleanup. And there's a couple options in here. Again, we're not going to go into all these options, but this one, merge coplanar faces, is what's going to eliminate all these extra edges that don't need to be here. And erase stray edges is always a good one to have on as well. So let's say cleanup. Wow. There, it just it cleaned up all of those edges. It merged faces for us. That's all it took. And this is the is ready to go. So easy, so cool. Um, now, one of the nice things about cleanup, if we look at this, this won't matter for my 3D printing, but let's say down here, uh, I look at these edges and just visually, I would still rather see, you know, these edges here. Well, softening edges is one of the options for cleanup. So let me turn on my hidden geometry and look at this. I'm going to use the protractor tool and find out what this angle is. And if I look over here, it looks like it's just 20, it's almost 22 degrees. So I'm going to undo. Now we already ran the solid tool. I'm going to run the cleanup again, and this time I'm going to take this smooth by angle. I'll turn this down to 20. And that looks great. So now I can just make any of these I want, and it's super easy using the solid inspector and the cleanup tools to um, merge these into the boxes that I want to create. So on this one, let's say we're going to create something like this. Run this across, flip it, bring it back. Uh, so now I've got a two by five, or I could say, you know what? I need a three by five. So I'm going to grab this piece, copy this. this back and here we go here's the fun part select it explode it group it back again run the solid inspector yes please fix all those internal faces and i've got cleanup on a keyboard shortcut but i just say clean up clean it with last settings and it's done so that's an example, again, where I'm sort of using the tools not just to inspect a model, but strategically to help me create new models because I know that they'll, it will eliminate internal faces for me, uh, stray edges, that sort of thing. So very helpful. So let's look at this other example. Now this is going to be um, kind of doing the same thing but just another example of it. A couple weeks ago, uh, I did a skill builder on creating knurling, and the knurling looked a little different than this. It had a diamond pattern, but similar idea, right? Each of these is a component, and uh, you know, so we've got that. We've uh, arrayed them all around. Now it's time to make this into a solid object that we would 3D print. So. Let's select this. I'm going to explode it. And I'm going to explode it again to merge all these components into uh, the geometry. And in fact, maybe I will select it, make sure it's all selected, and intersect faces with model. All right, after a moment, it's done that. Now, I want to get rid of these top and bottom extra, you know, the the way this is rising above the top. So I'm just going to draw a circle up here. Again, select everything, right click, intersect faces. It's going to take a moment. But hopefully, I can now grab this geometry, hit delete. It looks like it didn't quite get that. Uh, but that's okay. I will just create one of these faces 
and I'm going to rotate this, find the center, rotate this, a copy, and array that around 11, 12 times. Now for the interest of time, I would do the exact same thing down here, but let's just go ahead and merge this all in. So select this all, I'm gonna group it, and let me turn on hidden geometry just so we can see what a mess we have when we run the solid inspector. Wow, so many faces to clean up. Yes, please fix that for us. Wow, that's awesome. I don't have to do the work. Solid inspector does the work for me. If I turn off, now again, this is a solid, but maybe I don't want to see those edges. So I'm going to select it, run back up here, clean up, clean with last settings. Yes, please, because that's going to take all coplanar faces that can be and merge them. And again, I would have done the same to the, the bottom, still could. But that's the idea, is that it can just make you more efficient, whether your intended uh, final model is, is for 3D printing or whether it's not. It is just a really great way to anticipate and clean up merged interior faces or stray edges, things like that. I love it. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I hope that was uh, I hope that was helpful. I hope that gives you some ideas. Play around. There are, it, it doesn't fix everything. If you've used Solid Inspector, there are cases that it doesn't fix and that you're going to have to manually go in. But if you sort of think of like the outer shell of something and that inside faces, inside edges you want to get rid of, it can be really helpful. Um, it's, it's a pretty awesome tool just for your general modeling purposes and certainly very awesome for 3D printed models. That's all for now. Thank you all again. Uh, like and subscribe as always and give us you know, your feedback, your thoughts on using these extensions and your ideas for uh, more videos that we can create that address topics and, and ideas you wanna see. We'd love to have that discussion. Thanks, y'all.